Angioedema is characterized by swelling in the deep layers of the skin. This swelling occurs due to the leakage of fluid from blood vessels into surrounding tissues. Unlike hives, which present as itchy welts on the skin's surface, angioedema involves swelling beneath the skin. It's important to note that angioedema can occur with hives or as a separate condition altogether. The areas most commonly affected by angioedema are those with loose tissue such as the face, lips, tongue, throat, hands, feet and genitals. In some cases, the swelling can also affect internal organs, leading to abdominal pain or breathing difficulties. The severity of angioedema can vary, with some experiencing mild and short-lived episodes, while others face more severe and recurring cases. Angioedema can be broadly classified into two main types, allergic angioedema and non-allergic angioedema. Understanding the difference between these types is essential for effective management. Allergic angioedema, as the name suggests, is triggered by an allergic reaction. Common triggers include medications like penicillin and aspirin, insect stings and certain foods like nuts and shellfish. When someone with an allergy encounters a trigger, their body releases histamine and other chemicals causing blood vessels to leak fluid and leading to swelling. Non-allergic angioedema is not caused by an allergic reaction and is often linked to genetic factors or underlying medical conditions. In some cases, the exact trigger for non-allergic angioedema remains unknown. Certain medications, like AC inhibitors used for high blood pressure, can also cause this type of angioedema. Recognizing the symptoms. Recognizing the symptoms of angioedema is crucial for timely intervention and management. As mentioned earlier, the hallmark symptom is swelling beneath the skin, which can be painless or accompanied by a burning or itching sensation. The swelling may develop gradually over several hours or appear suddenly. While the swelling itself might be the most noticeable sign, it is important to be aware of other potential symptoms. These include difficulty breathing, hoarseness, abdominal pain, and, in some cases, a drop in blood pressure. If you experience sudden swelling in the face, lips, tongue, or throat, especially if accompanied by difficulty breathing, seek immediate medical attention as it could indicate a life-threatening situation. Diagnosing angioedema. Diagnosing angioedema typically involves a combination of medical history review, physical examination, and in some cases, specific tests. Your doctor will start by asking about your symptoms, their duration, and any potential triggers you might have encountered. They will inquire about your medical history, including allergies, medications, and any family history of angioedema. A physical examination will help assess the location and extent of the swelling. Depending on your symptoms and medical history, your doctor might recommend additional tests to rule out other conditions or determine the type of angioedema. These tests might include blood tests to check for elevated levels of histamine or other inflammatory markers. In cases of suspected hereditary angioedema, genetic testing might be necessary to confirm the diagnosis. Treatment and management. Treating angioedema primarily focuses on reducing the swelling and managing the underlying cause. For allergic angioedema, identifying and avoiding the trigger is crucial. Your doctor might prescribe antihistamines to block the effects of histamine and reduce swelling. In severe cases, epinephrine injections might be necessary to quickly reverse the allergic reaction. Managing non-allergic angioedema often involves addressing the underlying medical condition or identifying the triggering medication. In some cases, medications like corticosteroids might be prescribed to reduce inflammation and swelling. For individuals with hereditary angioedema, specific medications are available to prevent and treat acute attacks. Living with angioedema. Living with angioedema requires proactive management and awareness. If you are prone to angioedema, it's crucial to understand your triggers and avoid them whenever possible. Carry an epinephrine auto-injector if prescribed and know how to use it in case of a severe allergic reaction. Inform your family, friends and colleagues about your condition so they can assist you during an emergency. Lifestyle modifications can also play a role in managing angioedema. Stress can sometimes trigger or worsen symptoms, so incorporating stress-reducing techniques like yoga, meditation or deep breathing exercises into your routine might be beneficial. 
Maintaining a healthy lifestyle by eating a balanced diet, exercising regularly and getting enough sleep can also strengthen your immune system and potentially reduce the frequency and severity of angioedema episodes.